All right, we got bag number seven of 18. So let's see what these 50 coins have for us. All right, so we got 20 different countries this time, and there were quite a few interesting ones this time as well. So we have Australia, Berm uh, the Bahamas, Belgium, Brazil, the East Caribbean states, Finland, France, Germany, of course, with this tall stack, Greece, Hungary, India, Luxembourg, Mexico, the Netherlands, Nepal again, so, Nepal, sorry, New Zealand, Portugal, Turkey, the UK, and Uruguay. So, let's take a closer look. So this actually says the Oriental Uruguay um, from 1960. And that's centesimals. It's pretty cool with Artigas. That's a cool name, Artigas. Uh, the UK stuff is mostly new penny stuff from the 70s. It's hardly worth anything. But we did get our token uh, one penny, so we got 1938 this time. Got a ton of those in this search. And we got this cool one from Turkey. I've never seen this one before. From 1948. Nice little uh, sheen there. It says two and a half kurus. So I'm pretty happy with that find. Portugal didn't turn up anything terribly great. We had two five escudos, these bigger ones, from 86 and 77, and then a two and a half escudos from 71. Still like the ship though. New Zealand, I love the half penny on the New Zealand uh, coins. There, we got it in focus. So yeah. I just love that design, 1945, really nice, and then boring King George. <laughs> and we got the New Zealand one penny from 1962, and a young Elizabeth there. So this is from Nepal. So I don't know exactly the year on it, but um, this is a one paisa. The year is down here, but it's somewhere in between 1911 and 1920. So, pretty cool. It's copper coin. Decent condition. Better than the last one from Nepal. Alright, we got some Netherlands coins from the 60s. 10 cents from 63 and 25 cents from 64. Those are nice grabs. I don't think either one of them are silver, though. All right. So, we had some fairly modern ones from Mexico. So we have the one peso, which I'm surprised at how big the one peso is. But again, it's doing callbacks to this guy who seems to have been on the one peso. Whoops, that's the wrong coin. Sorry about that. This guy, yeah. So this is the bigger one peso that has 10% silver. This is from a different collection. Uh, this is not from this pool. But this guy's been on the one peso forever, which is cool. And then you have the 10 pesos, which is itsy bitsy from 1986. And a little bit fatter. Then what was interesting about this pull is we ended up with three ten centavos from 1946. Three of them. And they're all worn about the same amount. Those are all copper nickel. But still, nice finds. At Luxembourg, we had some interesting ones here. So, our lovely lady. Come on, are you going to focus or not? There we go. 
So, Charlotte Grand Duchess of Luxembourg, 1930, with the five sun teams. Pretty nice condition. Lots of original luster there. For 1930, that's, that's a nice coin. And then we had another 1930. Again, nice condition. You can still see the abs on that guy. <laughs> and that's 50 sun teams. I don't think this was in silver either. I should have checked. But I'll put a correction if it's not. But it didn't look like silver to me, so I didn't bother. Same with this Indian, one Anna, from 1939. I like the wavy features. Really nice, but I highly doubt it's in silver. Then we had two Annas, 1943, from India as well. A nice diamond shaped. Really cool. I like these. It's nice pickups there. And we go back to Hungary. This is from 1996. It's five foreign. And we got Greece, the 1959 10 drachma. Again, I don't think this one's silver, but it's big and fun. And if it is silver, I'll correct it. <clears throat> All right, standard from Germany. Everything's from 1949 or 1950. 10. Five and one Finnegs. Nothing special there. Nothing too special from France either. We got some five and ten sun teams from the 60s and 70s. So there's 69 and 73. And we got another 10 franc from 1948. Which is pretty cool. I like these big ones. And they're not aluminum. That's one of the reasons that I like them. We've got enough of the aluminum ones. And we got Finland from 1967. Five penny. East Caribbean states from 1989, a $1 10 sided coin. That's always cool. Brazil coming in with a 50 centavos from 1948. I think I found a few of these in my last. Bag hunt. 1970 Belgium one franc. We've seen a bunch of these. This is with a French text. French text with Begique. And I thought this was a nice pull. We get the one cent Bahama, the five cent Bahama, the ten cent Bahama, and the twenty five cent Bahama. Would have been nice to uh, have the 50 cent Bahama coin in there too, but that one's silver. But still, if somebody wins this pile, you've got the lower denominations all together. That's pretty awesome. Alright, last but not least, we got Australia with the platypus down there. This is 20 cents from 1978. And Australian one penny, 1939, with a kangaroo. Seem to have gotten a bunch of these, so. I think whoever wins a one of these coin hunts is definitely going to have Australian coins, Mexican coins, UK coins, and German coins out the wazoo. Everything else is, well, oh yeah, and Bahama coins. I seem to have those in every single batch. So, you guys enjoying this? I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. Thanks for tuning in. And these are my world coins for now, but they could be yours. See ya.